Welcome back gamers to our battleground coverage. In this section we're going to be covering the menu overview and I'm going to show you also a quick tour of the options as well as where you can go for a quick control layout and a brief tutorial area where you instead of going through in-game tutorial you can just read up on it. Let's, uh, we've already discussed the superstar section and I said at the end of that video that there's daily challenges to help you earn the battle bucks necessary or to, in order to unlock those other superstars found in the action figure packages. So we'll start off with the daily challenges here. When you go into that menu, you're going to see something very familiar. Uh, you see this in basically like Rocket League and Fortnite as well, which I feel very comfortable with this layout. A little meter down the bottom, the sun will be showing you your progress and what you lock in addition to other things as you complete these daily challenges here. And like an example, just like Fortnite, our daily challenges are like perform two weapon hits. We can play, what is that, three triple fret threat three triple threat matches against medium level AI or higher and then win three triple threat matches so I mean there's two right there those two can go hand in hand quite easily and as you beat those you're going to go up in that meter and unlock cosmetics and stuff like that outside of the store again like I said you see this a lot in uh, like Fortnite and Rocket League and uh, I don't know if anybody's played it but Rocket Arena has a similar setup as well uh, of course if you don't like these challenges uh, you can actually replace the challenges by pressing square I'm not going to do that right now as I actually want to try to challenge myself with what they're giving me off the bat but as I had just said about the store momentarily ago that's the next section we're going to go into is the store again you're going to see a very familiar setup uh i kind of see this being akin to what you see in clash royale on mobile where they give you packs that you can get uh, and these packs will contain a certain amount of um I would guess characters that you can unlock like this one's a women's double pack which leads me to believe you could unlock two versions of those characters or the characters themselves Undertaker pack is pretty much going to tell me right there you're going to unlock those other two cosmetic appearances of the Undertaker since the Undertaker is one of the characters we're able to use right off the bat and then right here is the Andre the Giant pack which means you're going to unlock him and his other two appearances again kind of quite like the item shop that you would see Fortnite or Rocket League where they're giving you um, a few different options with a limited time limit so let's adjust set options so let's take a look at our options you can access that by pressing the triangle button and you see there music audio effects commentator in-game help and show controls and credits uh, I have my music off for copyright reasons uh, keep everything else on when we're doing the videos you want to see your controls real quick just go right here and it'll give you a quick layout of your controls uh, I believe you can sit there and switch between high flyer and all that um, I'm going to actually be relying on my in-game tutorials because I kind of like to feel my way through these games not just know everything right off the bat but I I'm kind of weird like that so it it's different things for different classes and that's pretty neat that they did that too with these characters uh, okay and now we're gonna go ahead and yes there is a creative character mode and a battle creator mode but there will be a separate video for that this little box right here is gonna serve for your news and stuff and anything that they want you to know about um, and she's really all that is right there and before we get into the play section, I do want to address one thing. I do expect there to be more characters added via DLC. I've read that this is supposed to be one of the largest rosters in WWE history in a WWE game. Uh, but of course, you know, rumors, you got to take them with a grain of salt. We'll just have to watch and see. So under our play section, we still have yet another series of options. There's a campaign mode. There's Battleground Challenge. There's tournament. There's King of the Battleground. I imagine the King of the Battleground is going to be your online multiplayer. I also think that you may be able to get that here in these two modes as well. Uh, Battleground Challenge, that could go either offline or online. 
campaign i expect to be mostly offline and tournament i can see going either way as well but we will explore these more in detail in separate videos as well so as for my overview that's going to pretty much do that um there was an area i had it up here earlier that you could go in and like it actually gave you a full list of tutorials uh that slips me as to where that is right off the moment so i'll have to address that in a separate video but keep it tuned here coming back next we're going to start getting into some of these different game modes and until then i'll catch you What? What?